Hey guys, today I'm filming a first impression of some eyebrow products from Anastasia. I'm so excited to try these out because everybody raves about Anastasia and I got these with some Christmas money so I was very excited to try these out. I'm obsessed with brows. I'd like to try different products so I thought why not go for the cult favorite brow product. So the first thing I got was the Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde, which I got from Ulta, as well as this Bold Brow Kit. This was only $36, and it's a $72 value. It comes in three shades, taupe, medium brown, and dark brown. I got taupe, which is the brow powder duo, and then it also comes with their dual-ended brush, the angle side and the spoolie, and their clear brow gel. So I'm gonna be trying out all those things today, as well as the NYX Wonder Pencil in light. I'm gonna use this to highlight my brows instead of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in milk. So I'm really excited to try these things out. I have an idea of how I'm going to apply them. I, You guys know when I use my MAC Omega, I usually apply a wax, but I'm going to apply the powder just by itself hope and see how it works but I will keep you updated hopefully you'll see it in my monthly favorites and I will keep you updated as to if I've changed on how I use it or not so I'm gonna zoom you in and we'll just get started okay guys so these are what my brows look like naturally I'm not filled in at all my eyebrows are pretty full except at the tail it's pretty light as you can see and skinny I'm sorry if my eyebrows don't look like they're shaped properly I've not got them shaped in a long time I get my mom to do it but she's been pretty crazy with holiday stuff so um, I'll do that soon but anyways we're gonna start with the brow Wiz pencil and ash blonde I'm gonna take the spoolie side and just comb through my eyebrows to get them going the direction that we want I like the spoolie. I just like that the product comes with the spoolie. I think that's nice. As well as our double ended brush has a spoolie, so. All right, now that we've done that, I'm gonna take, I think with this brow with pencil, I'm just going to fill in from the arch to the tail and then um, underline my eyebrows and maybe line the top as well i just want to keep the life of this but that's how i'm going to try it out today and i might change it in the future see how i like it best and this is just a twist up you guys probably won't be able to see the color oh good it goes back down all right so color match looks really nice But it works really good. I extended my tail a little bit and it did a really good job drawing on my skin. I know some eyebrow pencils only draw on hair, so I really like that. And I decided that I will line the top. All right. Really nice. I like that okay so now I'm going to comb that out again this time I'm gonna use the spoolie from the um, duo brush comb that out I like the color a lot so now I'm gonna go into the brow powder duo and I'm gonna take the lightest color on the first half of my brow and then the darkest color from the arch to the tail using their angled brush which I'm excited to try this as well I feel like I can still see a bald spot here, but that's all right. I usually, like I told you guys, I usually do a wax underneath of uh, my powders, but I didn't do that today. But I will try that out to see if it makes much of a difference. Now I'm gonna take this darker color, and like I said, apply that over 
the arch and the tail. Nice. Oh my gosh. Look. Ah. Oh. Anastasia eyebrow. Natural eyebrow. I love it. All right. I'm going to go through with this and comb out. Oh, this bully is the perfect size. I love it. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So then I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil in light and carve out my eyebrows. I've not used this yet either. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. But, you know, just to make my eyebrows look more precise. And I'm going to blend it with my finger a little bit. It might work better with a brush, but I don't have any brushes with me besides these. All right, now we're going to carve out the tail and the top. I know some people use concealer for this step, but I just thought it would be easier to use this pencil, and it is. It is very simple, and I like it a lot. All right. Now I'm going to set it with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This seems nice. It doesn't seem too wet, which I think is really important because that can make your eyebrows look really clumpy like the Maybelline Great Lash did for me. And there we go. Love this too. Um, I'm going to do my other eyebrow, zoom out, and come back so you guys can see the finished look, and I'll tell you my final thought. All right, so these are the finished brows. What do you guys think? I really like this. I've not fallen in love yet. I think I just need to play around with it more, but I really like it. It was very simple. All the products were simple. It didn't take too long. I especially like this clear brow gel. I was surprised it didn't, when I was placing it on, it didn't move my hairs all over the place and it was not thick and goopy. So I really appreciated that. I like everything and I will hopefully have this in a favorite. So I'll let you guys know what I think more about it, but I really like it so far. Um, color match is great for me and the products were fabulous and I'm so excited I got to try them out so uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on the Anastasia brow products and like I said I'll got I'll keep you like I said I'll keep you guys updated on how this goes um, throughout the month I'm not going to do any update videos throughout the day I'm not going to touch up my brows or anything like that so I just wanted to try them out on camera for the first time and consensus is I like them. I've not fallen in love yet. Like I said, I just need to play with them a little bit more, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.